Yeah, let's go. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, I wonder how well that comes through. <laughs> if you heard that, then I'm keeping that in as my intro. Uh, hello everyone, I am Mr. Mike, and I am back for more Warrior Land Shaken. In the last episode, we beat the game, but we are not done with the entire game yet. In this episode, I'm gonna start off doing some, doing some of the secret levels and showing off. Possibly the first boss mission, set of boss missions in this game. Also, before you notice, notice how on the tile screen that we have six spots. Instead, before we fight the Shake King, we have five spots there, like, to show all the bosses we've fought. And now we have six. It's kind of neat. So now we're going on to the secret levels. And I'm not calling these bonus... Uh, sorry, I hear my other... my siblings in my other room. Or maybe that's my parents, I don't know. I'm not calling these bonus missions because, well... Just because we're still not done with the game. Simple as that. So, yeah. In this episode, I'm gonna try showing off the best ways to do both of these the missions in Rattle Ruins in some of the levels that we've already seen before. Which you should be pretty familiar with. How about I start off with Gurgle Gulch? No, oh, excuse me again. Uh, I keep burping. Why does that always happen? The only missions we haven't done are the Time and Coin missions. Since you've already seen the coin, the coin mission, well, actually, let me rephrase that. You've already seen this level, so I'm going to speed up through this, and you should hopefully see a good way to get the coins in this level, so we'll do that. So I'll speed up now. slow it down right now. There's a coin bag right above this second block that's right above the spikes. The best way to get this is by aiming something at that jump. You have to aim an enemy at that block, then jump quickly to push that coin bag away so that it doesn't fall in the spikes. Just so you know, since I've already done the no damage mission, I'm gonna take a hit for the team and miss a bunch of coins. Hopefully that doesn't screw me over. Well, I just don't want to play this level twice in a row and pissing me off a lot right now, because I've just restarted this level a few times, so yeah, just really angry right now, a little bit. I'll shut up now. Now we're at the Murple. Ugh, that one stupid coin sack that's literally positioned right over that spike pit is really annoying. Ugh. Those coin bags. Uh, what am I? What am I trying to say? Okay. That those coins in that coin bag are can really help you do this mission, both of these missions in the same run. Because if you don't get enough coins, you're gonna have to do this separately. Uh, the time and coin mission separately, if you know what I mean. 
I wanted to get as many of those coins from that bag as I could, and I hopefully got as much as I could. So, yeah, let's just run. Let's quickly run and see if I can get both time and coins. Oh, no. Ugh. I'm gonna try that again, because if I mess up a little bit, then that pretty much will screw me for the time mission. I didn't swing. I didn't jump enough, so... Let's try this again. Ugh, I'm sorry if I'm really... I'm really sounding tired. I'm just really mad from that stupid coin bag, as I've mentioned before. I'm sorry for being silent. Again, I'm just mad. I'm tr trying to just calm down a little bit by playing this game. Because I like it. I want to calm down, because... Video games can help take out stress. Sometimes. When it's something too hard, it can just add to your stress. I'll stop talking about that and just talk about this game, sort of. Let's just try this better. Okay, don't mess this up, Oreo. Those jumps are really hard. You have to jump very precisely to do it. Oh, and there's a rope that's at the end of this pit. You have to jump these waters. You have to jump over these waters early enough because if you don't jump that one last gap, you're gonna hit that you're gonna hit that rope and you're gonna kill all the sense of speed you had a little bit ago. Oh! Seriously? Uh, hold on a sec. Okay, we're back here. Let's see if I can get these coins without losing my speed. Turn around quickly. Okay. We've got plenty of time before we have to get out of here. No, no, no! Wario! Come on! Why is this game pissing me off so much? Right. Thankfully, there's another one of these here. Okay, I almost have enough coins. Can I get out of this? No, I won't. Will I get enough money, though? Alright, I got enough money. And I'm just getting out of here because I hate this level. It's really pissing me off so much. Uh, to do the time mission, you just have to don't you just have to not mess up as much as many times as I did. Simple as that. Uh, I'm sorry. This is just pissing me off to no extent. You know, I'm gonna stop this recording right now because I'm just I just want to cool down. I'll be. I'll be right back. <sighs> and now I'm back here. I'm just gonna... Instead of just... Letting you figure out your own way to doing the time mission here, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna show it for you, because... Well, I just want to be efficient. And I just... I started up a new recording here. This is the same episode, but a new recording. I cool off a little bit. I think I'm feeling a little bit fine after my frustrations I had a little bit ago. So yeah, I'm gonna show you the time mission and what to do. For this part where you're sinking in the water, there's nothing you can do. Just wait until it gets to the ground and then just go. Here. Just jump as... Just be very careful with those jumps again. They're very hard. For this part, you have to jump over the water... Over these. If you jump at this last part too soon, like I just did right now, you'll grab that rope, losing all sense of speed, and you're gonna have to just restart, because if you go back to that dash rater at the start of the room, you're gonna cost a lot of time, and time is money in this. You can't make any mistakes like I just did. Hold on a sec. Alright, there we go. You have to duck, because if you go the upper way, there's... I don't think that's a good way to do this time mission. Duck! Jump over here, turn around. Remember, there's a diamond right here. We'll use that for your coin mission. If you're still doing the coin mission. And you can do these... The coin and time missions at the same time, I just sucked at it majorly. So now, here we go, we got the time mission. Finally. Blech. At least I'm done with this. So yeah, 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 give me the stats, all the stuff. So much money you can accumulate. So, money is really pointless at this time. So now, I'm gonna show off both the, all three of the missions that we haven't done in Disturbing Tomb. These can only... these things can only be done at... at when you're escaping. Although I'll show you... 
some places where bomb blocks are because there's only one place in this level where bomb blocks are located before you start escaping. The, the rest of them are located when you're escaping. Duh. So right in this room, this is the only place when you're not escaping from this level where bomb blocks are located. So, just so you know. That's the, this is the only place. I'll see you when I freed the Merfolk. <laughs> That's funny. Before I go, I just like what he looks like when he's trying to shoulder bash it when he's in quicksand. I've never done that before. You suck. Alright, I don't think I'll be able to get all three of these in the same run, but let's try it. Remember, when you free the Merfolk, do a Mega Ground Pound because there's a Mummer down here and he'll slow you down. Be sure to get rid of him quickly. For these cannons, just watch what I do. You just have to take it slowly and just time your shots so that you don't miss. If you try shooting too early, you'll waste time. So for a shot like this, just wait. Don't don't shoot early because you'll miss. Same here. Pretty common knowledge, but I just want to make it clear that this is what you have to do. Keep shooting. I know it hurts for you, but we have to do this. This will hurt too. Man, he got a thick skull. Probably should be expected because he's Wario. He's Wario! Ha 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 ha! By the way, in case you don't remember, down here this is where the golden enemy is located. Keep this one Bandanero alive because that way, you, if you don't. Well, if you accidentally kill him, then you're gonna have to go up above because that's your only way out of that little pit. I don't think I'm gonna get the time mission. I'll show that off again. Sometime. Alright, here are the rest of the bomb blocks. Just run. Just do this. Stay a do that a little bit of times because the bomb blocks might not explode when you go off screen, so just give it a little time before they actually so that they actually do explode. Hmm. Will I actually make this? Let's go. Come on, Wario, you can do this. Come on, you have one second left. Yes! I did all three missions in one run. Good. Of course, another way to do the time mission is to use those cannons, and that's probably the more fun way to do it if you're also going for the coin mission. Because that is the most fun way to do this level. Which I think I'll show off right now. I'll be meet you right back in a second. Because I want to do that again. It's fun. Before I, before I do the cannon, I'm just going to show you the upper route. It's just the quicker route and the more the more encouraged route to go because that way you can actually make it through this room without having to use your dash raider skill. Now we're getting close to the cannon. I love this escape route. It's the best way to escape this level is in this game. You just drop down this pit. Off screen I tried getting back here and I was sucking really badly at that one cannon blasting tech. So we blast through the coin trails and here we go! Wah ha 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 Oh a diamond! Wah ha 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 I regret nothing! That's the best way to get out of this level in the, in the entire game. Yeah, this is the best escape route in in the entire game. That's what I'm trying to say, if I don't garble up my words so much. So now, before I end this off, let's see if I can do this correctly. I'm gonna... Uh, bef when you beat the game, all the bosses are re-available, by the way, and now they have boss missions, and... I don't know if I said it last episode, but these are my least favorite aspects of these games, of this whole game. These missions are ridiculously hard and very unfair, and takes they take a lot of practice and they're just tedious. So here are our missions we have for Roll and Rattle Battle. We have to beat the stage without taking damage, beat the enemy before the time runs out, and don't get knocked over by the earthquakes. So this is probably the easiest set of boss missions in the game. Others get really hard. So we'll try to see what we can do with this. By the way, the cutscenes I'll show you in a bit. Here's something that's cool. All the Murfles that you rescue in the world, including the ones from the secret stages, will show up to unlock this door. Also, these cutscenes can be skipped by press pressing the 2 button. So let's see if I can do this. By the way, as you can tell, there's a timer up there. If the timer runs out, don't worry, you don't automatically lose. It just... It will just mean you fail one mission. Watch out! And I failed that. That was quick. That was stupid. 
Okay, you know, remember when I brought up in an earlier episode when I didn't like how Roland Rappel was all CG? I mean, just here's a better example of this because look at him. Just look at his movements. It just seems so unnatural with this. All the hand drawn elements of this game just look so natural and flowing, and this just doesn't. Just. just doesn't mesh well in, with the entire art style of the game. I just don't like it while well, the computer's in screensaver mode, and it's, now it's not. I hope this video doesn't turn out too long when it when I end up editing this thing. Watch out for the explosions. Just have to be careful with this. Take any necessary measures you can to beat this boss. Try your best not to fail. Watch out! I perfectly avoided that earthquake. Boip! That's the sound of his... His, uh... His force field. Oh, and by the way, watch out for his little shields on the side of his face. They'll fall down like that. So, in case you forgot about that, well, then that happens. And his face will pound the ground a lot of times, so... And he'll be really fast about this. So... Be very careful, because that could screw you up for this one mission. I think he only does that three times. So now the hands will start rotating. Here's what you do to get this button fast enough. Just jump here, quickly jump onto the hand so that... Just jump away, so... and then do that. And we beat the We beat the boss. That was easy. As it should be, it was the first boss. So we did this really well. And by the way, whenever you re-fight a boss, if since you already have the emblem, they'll just give you a diamond. Pretty simple. It's not really worth it, though. But, oh well. It's nice regardless. Also, there's, they also show a result screen at the end, unlike the first time you fought these guys. Like we'll see right now. Here's our result screen. And of course, just like all the other levels, beating these missions will just unlock the music. Also, I don't think I ever mentioned, but since there are multiple levels that have the same regular music, like Gurgle Gulch shares the same music as uh, Foul Water Falls does when you're playing through it regularly. The music you unlock in the secret levels are just the escape route music, in case you didn't know that. But you know, this was a fairly successful video, even though I got frustrated many times. It was still successful, and I finished off Rattle Ruins completely. We don't ever have to come back here again. Goodbye, Rattle Ruins. It was nice knowing you. So in the next episode, I'll show off some other stuff, other secret levels of this game. So, see you guys later. Bye.